Good day grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson in Euclidean Geometry. And guess what? In this lesson we're again going to be teaching you about a theorem. Today's theorem is that the perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the circle center. So what does that really mean? Let's think about this. So far we've been proving that if we had a circle going through a circle with a center, let's pretend Q is the center, and we were dropping a line from the center of the circle. If it was the bisector, then it would be perpendicular, or if it is perpendicular, it would be the bisector of the chord. So that's the two theorems that we've proven so far. Now they're saying if we have a perpendicular bisector, in other words, if this line is perpendicular and the bisector, then it has to go through the center of the circle. And we are given this. You're given a circle with a midpoint P on chord AB, which means that AP equals PB, right? You're also given your line QP such that it's 90 degrees, and there's also line RP such that it's 90 degrees, right? And we have to prove that basically this line here goes through the center of the circle. So again, we're going to use congruency. I'm going to do some constructions. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join AQ and QB. Now remember in the previous examples what we did we said was that if this was the center of the circle then when we drew these these would be equal because they're radii. Now what we're going to do is we're going to assume this is not the center of the circle and we're going to see if we can still prove that this is congruent because if this is congruent then these two lines have to be equal and if they're equal then they should be the radius but let's have a look at that so let's talk about in triangle QAP QAP right and triangle QBP QBP do you agree that we've got QP is equal to QP because it's common? QP equals QP common. Life is easy. We also have that angle QPB is equal to QPA. Why? Because they're both 90 degrees and they gave it to us. How nice is that? So therefore angle QPA is equal to angle QPB. Why? Because it's given and it's 90 degrees and they told us that AP is equal to BP. AP, sorry, AP is equal to BP again given. Therefore we can see that triangle QAP, triangle QAP must be congruent to triangle Q BP and why? In this case it's side, angle, side. So it's side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. Right, now we've therefore proven that these two triangles are congruent and therefore QA has to equal QB. But now that could be a flip. Let's have a look again at the next triangle that we could be making. Let's do this. Let us join RA and RB. RA and RB. Now if we do exactly the same thing, we go in triangle RAP, wrap RAP, and triangle RBP, RBP. Do you agree again we have got RP is equal to RP, it's common, right? And we know that RPB has to equal to RPA. Why? Because they gave it to us. If we've got angle RPA equals angle RPB. Why? Because it is given and we've got that AP is equal to PB which is given, right? Therefore we've got the triangle RAP 
is congruent to triangle RBP, Y side angle side. Therefore, we can say also that RA is equal to RB. Now, if you think about this, what are we saying? We're actually saying that R has to lie on Q because we know that this, the only point in the center of the circle, is the center of the circle that is equidistant always from the circumference. So the only way that this, these two can both be equidistant from the circumference is if they're actually lying on top of each other. So this should have scooched down and therefore that has to be the center of the circle. Therefore we can say that the perpendicular bisector of a chord has to go through the circle, has to pass through the circle. And that's the proof. How cool is that? Right, please make sure you learn it and know how to do it. And when I say learn it, I mean know how to do it, not learn it verbatim. Please be careful of that. Have a lovely day, grade 11s, and please go practice before you do the assessment at the end of the section.